Hello! All right, so this is kind of weird because I'm holding my camera, which is not normal, because I don't have a tripod here in Mexico City. If you don't know, I just moved here, uh, and I made a video about that. And this video is going to be extremely similar in a sense of the style, where it's literally going to be this, just me looking at the camera, holding the camera, and talking to you, and just kind of talking about what's going on. I feel like ever since I started this YouTube channel, I haven't really done that a whole lot um, of just kind of... I don't know, just talking with you guys. I mean, and a lot of times I'm speaking in Spanish or making these kinds of videos where it's like guy speaks perfect Spanish and whatever. But that's kind of what I want to talk about in this video is like the past week or so, I felt really confused on what to do with my YouTube channel. And I just want to talk about that and like how it all started and, and kind of what the future is going to look like. So when I first started making YouTube videos, more specifically, these kinds of Spanish related videos, like Guy Speaks Perfect Spanish, all these kinds of videos. Um, that was during COVID, so that was in 2020. And the reason that I started creating these kinds of videos was not to become YouTube famous or to become a content creator or influencer. And to be honest, I really don't feel like a content creator or an influencer, which is kind of what we'll be talking about. Um, but the reason I started creating these kinds of videos of you know Spanish teaching or later the Spanish or you know Guy Speaks Perfect Spanish, whatever, is so that people would learn Spanish with me, so that people would find out about my websites and that I teach Spanish. That was kind of the whole idea behind why I started making these videos. It was never like, I want to, this is what I want to do. I want to be a content creator. I want to be a YouTuber. Um, in fact, I've all, in a weird way, I've always been kind of the opposite, which is kind of ironic since this is my, literally my job. I have never felt like a good influencer or something like I am so inclined to be like, oh, I want to share this on YouTube, or oh, I want to share this on Instagram. For me, YouTube and Instagram have always been mediums for me to tell people about my website so that I could keep teaching Spanish. Because uh, at the end of the day, I do love to make videos, and I do love helping people learn Spanish through these videos. But what I love even more than that is actually teaching students Spanish, sitting down one-on-one -on -one with students, helping them learn the language, because of the impact that it's had on my life. Like, for example, here I am in Mexico City. My girlfriend's Mexican. You know, my job is to teach Spanish. Like, my life would not be the same if it weren't for Spanish. So that is my life mission, to teach people Spanish, to help people create experiences like the ones I've been able to have. You know, connect with family members, friends, strangers, whoever it is. Make your travels easier. Make more money. Whatever, whatever you, you know, whatever your reason is for learning Spanish. But recently, I've been feeling super confused on the kinds of videos that I want to make. And a few days ago, when I kind of had the idea to film this video, is when I started to gain a little bit more clarity on what I want to do, what I think that you as a viewer would enjoy. So when I first, you know, got here to Mexico City, I thought, great, I'm going to film a bunch of cool videos here in Mexico City. It's going to be amazing. People are going to love it. But then I thought to myself, is this what I really want to do? Do I really want to make these kinds of videos? And when you're watching this video, the videos I filmed here in Mexico City prob probably won't have come out yet. But I did film a few videos here in Mexico City, and I really enjoyed it, actually. It was, it was pretty fun, but when I kind of sat down and thought to myself, okay, is this what I want to do long term? Is this sustainable for me? Um, I realized that it's not necessarily what I want to be doing. I've struggled with this for the past few years, like what kind of videos do I want to be making? Because at first it was these guy speaks perfect Spanish and that was fun and entertaining for a while, but eventually I got bored of that and I think a lot of the people here on the channel also got probably a little bit bored of that. Um, so I thought, cool, I can make this more like traditional teaching style video. Um, and I do like to make those videos because once again, I do like to teach. But I was like, ah, I don't know. So then now that I got here in Mexico City, I'm like, great, I'm gonna film a bunch of cool videos here in Mexico City. Is Mexico City safe? What can $10 a day get you? That kind of idea. But then I just thought to myself, I don't think this is what I wanna do. Um, if I wasn't already doing this as my job, I probably wouldn't even have Instagram or YouTube. Like me as a YouTuber, I don't even have YouTube on my phone. <laughs> Because, I don't know, like, while I do enjoy, like, watching other people's YouTube videos and all that, actually, I don't know, just having social media for me has always been a big distraction. And if, if I wasn't doing this as my job, I don't think I would have these platforms. Um, not to say they're not amazing and, and, you know, a great medium to share cool content and everything, but I don't know. So, uh, all that being said, now my idea, kind of what I've 
I sat down at Starbucks the other day and I was just journaling. I was like, what do I want to do? Blah, 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 blah. So what I've realized is basically I just want to focus on two platforms, YouTube and Instagram. Um, of course, I'm going to keep teaching Spanish. That's like my life goal. That's the biggest reason why I, I make this, this content here on YouTube and Instagram. Um, so for YouTube, I'll be doing more of the more of the teaching style, just here in my apartment or at a park or whatever, um, talking about, I don't know, Puerto Vers Para, uh, but also things like what if Spanish didn't exist or where does vos come from? Um, these kinds of ideas like, you know, is learning Spanish the hardest language to learn for English speakers? These kinds of ideas. Um, that's kind of what my YouTube content will be. Then I want to do like YouTube shorts, Instagram reels of me teaching you guys new words, but then having ridiculously funny sentences to go along with those words. Um, you'll see what I mean once I start releasing that, that kind of content. But that is kind of my idea because the reality is I don't know if I'll keep living here in Mexico City. I might go to a different part of Mexico or I might be in the U.S. for a short period of time or Europe or Asia, whatever. Who knows, who knows where, the, where the world will take me. But I think that is kind of what I've realized is that that's kind of the content that I want to be making because also the reality is, like I said, I want you, for example, if you're learning Spanish, I want Spanish learners to get value from my content and you know, be motivated and inspired by my story or have a good laugh watching my videos. And truthfully, I, just, I, I think the biggest thing recently is I want to be genuine. I feel like a lot of times when I make these like videos of like guy speaks perfect Spanish or these kinds of things, yeah, it's funny and it's entertaining and everything, but it's not like super genuine to myself. I feel like I, I want to be more like real with you. Not that I haven't been, but it's just, I think I felt disconnected from the community and I want to make this a more engaged community and connect with you guys on this kind of level instead of just like, Oh, haha, ha, this guy speaks really good Spanish and it's funny and it's entertaining and yeah, whatever. I want it to be like, hey, we have a connection. You feel like I'm your friend. I feel like I'm your friend. Um, and yeah, we, we can connect over the love of Spanish, right? And, and learning the language and just, right? It's just such a beautiful language. So anyways, that's, that's kind of been my thoughts recently and, and what I've been in wanting to do. So um, that's kind of the idea, you know, focus more on that and... Of course, like I feel a responsibility to you guys, but also to myself, right? Of like, I'm responsible to you guys in a sense. I want you guys to enjoy my content. I want you guys to learn Spanish from my content. I want you guys to be entertained. But at the same time, I also have the responsibility to myself to say, is this really what I want to be doing? Is this the kind of videos that I want to create? Is this the kind of lifestyle that I want to have? Um, and I think I realized after sitting down that, of course, I want to keep teaching Spanish, and this is a fantastic way to, to help do that, right? To, to connect with more people and to see that I've been able to do it and that you can do it too. But also realizing that, you know, if I want to have this be sustainable and if I want to keep, you know, yeah, like completing my life goal of teaching Spanish, then making these kinds of videos here, like travel videos here in Mexico City, or, you know, the funny, the funny, entertaining ones of like guy speaks for Spanish. I just don't think it's sustainable. I don't think it's super genuine to me and what I want to be doing. So anyways, I've been blabbering, but I, I realized that you guys actually kind of really like this, this um, format of video when I did the I moved to Mexico video. I think also too, it's interesting, right? Like at the time of this filming, I have about 140,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Thank you so much for that. Um, seriously. But it's like, it's interesting because recently, like maybe in the past year or maybe even past two years, like my content, like compared to the amount of subscribers I have, like it really doesn't get like a crazy amount of views. Sometimes, yeah, like certain videos like um, blow up. Like recently I filmed a video called How to Speak Perfect Mexican Spanish that a lot of people seem to really connect with, especially even like native uh, Mexican speakers like, oh wow, this guy actually knows what he's talking about, which is really cool. But anyways, those are the kind of videos that I want to be making and I think, um, yeah, they're the most sustainable for me, the most fun for me, the most meaningful for me. And once again, it allows me to keep teaching you Spanish, keep um, motivating you to learn Spanish. Um, and if you do want to learn Spanish with me, right, shameless plug, uh, make sure to check out my website, SpanishNate.com. I have my Fluent Spanish Speaker Academy on there, which is like the beginner to advanced course. Um, and then I've also, um, at the time you're watching this video, I may have already released it. I may not have. 
Um, I'll have released my new Master Spanish membership where you can basically hop on calls with me once a week, uh, 20 bucks a month, so you can check that out as well. But anyways, I'm blabbering. That's kind of what's been going on. So now you'll see more of these kind of educational teaching, edutainment kind of videos. Uh, for me here on the YouTube channel. And also check out on Instagram. I'm actually really, really excited for this kind of funny, short form content um, to kind of teach you guys new words and phrases in Spanish, but also entertain you and, and kind of make it light and fun because I think that's something that a lot of traditional learning methods lack is the fun and the, the personal aspect of things like Duolingo, Babbel, all these companies are amazing and they're great, uh, super accessible. Um, but a lot of times it lacks the personal touch. And I think that's something that a lot of people like about not only my content, but other um, you know, YouTube creators as well who teach Spanish is like, hey, like this is a teacher. This isn't just like a faceless app. Like I can actually talk to this person and it's real. And that's the whole reason I'm learning Spanish in the first place, right? So anyways, that's kind of what I want for you as a Spanish learner and as a viewer to be entertained, to have fun. Um, and to realize that you can learn Spanish or any other language, whatever, whatever you want. But anyways, so that's kind of what's been going on. I've been feeling better in the past few days about the, the future of everything, but that's kind of the idea here. And also just, it's been nice to like feel more comfortable just making videos like this, like super rough, like super, yeah, just me talking to you guys. And it's very, very honest, very, very transparent and, and casual. I really like that because I feel like it's nice for me to just tell you what's going on and how I've been honestly feeling. And I think it's nice for you to be like, oh, Nate is a normal guy and he's not just this robot that only speaks Spanish and <laughs> makes those kinds of things. So anyways, I'm super excited for, for the future of the channel now um, and you know, kind of having this new clarity and everything. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited for the future, you know, and if you have any questions or you want to give me your input or any comments or whatever please like leave me a comment down below and i hope that from now on this can be kind of a more engaged community and i can make more videos like this that are yeah super honest casual transparent um so yeah thank you so much for watching i appreciate it like i said if you want to learn spanish with me check out my website spanishmate.com like i said right this is like my biggest life mission is to teach you spanish so um it would mean a lot to me if you checked it out and um yeah if you have any spanish questions whatever you can always email me, especially Nate at gmail.com. And yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like I said, that's kind of the future of the channel. And I hope you enjoy this very, very casual format. And I'm also going to invest in a travel tripod because I'm literally just holding my camera and I feel like it looks a little awkward. So uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to get a travel tripod so that it's uh, more stable and maybe a better angle. But anyways, I really appreciate it. You are the reason I do what I do. And I seriously appreciate you watching. Um, if it weren't for you, like, I couldn't live here in Mexico City. Like, I couldn't be with my girlfriend. I couldn't be doing my life passion of teaching Spanish. So, thank you. Seriously, you are, even though you might not think you make a difference, you do. Uh, seriously, I appreciate you. Te quiero demasiado. En serio, lo aprecio de, del corazón. And anyways, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.